will get through this, you know. I mean, I know that I can do it. I I'm just not going to... I'm just not going to give, give in to it, that's all. Shh. Please finish with that. My arm, it feels so strange Honey. being in that position. Honey, restlessness is one of the symptoms of withdrawal. Oh, terrific. I'm just glad that I'm doing something, right? <sighs> uh, am I all right? Well, your pulse is a little fast. I expected that. But uh, all in all, you're not in bad shape. Outside of your back, of course. Yeah, I'm getting myself addicted to the pills in the first place. Well, you were hurting so much you weren't thinking. <laughs> you're nice. I mean, you're nice to say that and not tell me that I was weak and stupid and, and devious. Because you're not. Because I love you. Thanks. Oh, God. Uh, uh, please. Please tell me what this is going to be like. Okay. You're in for a bad three days. You're going to hit the worst of it probably halfway through. A day and a half. Right, right. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> oh, what other choice do I have, right? <laughs> yeah, you really don't. Be headaches? Yeah. Muscle like... spasms in your arm, your neck, your legs. Severe abdominal cramps. I believe that. Yeah, but the worst of it's going to be that uh, you won't be able to sleep much. You find yourself <laughs> worrying about little things, anxious, restless. <laughs> Some people pace compulsively. <laughs> And when it reaches its peak, you're going to find you really can't concentrate. All that before... because I took a couple of pills? All that because those pills were filled with narcotics. You know, something, I am sick. And I, I do feel nervous, but... You know what I feel most of all? What? I'm mad. I'm mad that I, I, I allowed myself to do this to me. Yeah. Hey, I'm sorry we can't wean you away from this stuff slowly, but I'm, I'm really afraid to give you any more of it, you know? No. You come out of this with liver damage. No, no, I, I want to do this. I want to do it now. I want to I get it over with. Yeah, terrific. Yeah, I don't say that. This is just the beginning. You'll make it. I'll be with you the whole time. We'll go through it together. Oh, God, my leg. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry that, that I'm a bother like this. Hey, come on, will you? You know, bother, you happen to be my wife, who I love very much. Where else would I be when you're sick? You know, I'm not here just because I want to be. I belong here. to walk the dog. It's nice of you, Bobby. Yeah. Well, your dad's a little under the weather, and uh, you, know, you don't look so hot yourself. I'm sorry it showed. What does? Well, I'm just sitting here trying to digest some information, that's all. Yeah. OK. Well, Delia came by before. She. Uh, couldn't wait to tell me that Jill and Seneca are planning to have a baby as soon as possible. And I'm really amazed at my own reaction to it. Seneca's with her, and I'm sure she's getting the very best of care. Yeah, Seneca's going to be able to take care of everything. They're married. They've been married, for Pete's sakes, for a long time. They're going to stay married. Yeah, OK. So what amazes me is how much Delia got to me with that zinger about them planning to have a child as soon as possible. Frank, you know that Delia's always resented uh, Jill. 
You know that. That's not it, Bobby. What... What I'm sitting here shaking my head about is, is indeed. It's, it's those old feelings for Jill. They just don't die easily, do they? Frank, you're too hard on yourself. I mean, Jill has gone through a heck of a lot, and you're seeing her over here, uh, scared, maybe hooked on pills. I mean, you wouldn't be human if you didn't react. Not the way that it's churning away inside me now. Raised down in Washington, doing everything for me. Wanting our marriage, wanting to make a home for us and little John, which God knows is something I want. And I'm still haunted by the ghost of something which was over a long time ago. Well, I guess you can't help but react. Why? You and Jill go back a long ways, Frank. There's bound to be some kind of a tie. Oh. Well, there shouldn't be. I've made that decision already, Bob. I've said to myself, it is over. Forget it. But you can't get her off your mind, huh? Yeah, that's just about it. Well, Frank, I wish I could say something helpful and offer all sorts of good advice, but about the only contribution I can make is just to walk the dog. Always the realist, huh? Yeah. Well, thanks for letting me pop off some steam. I'll see you when you get back here. Sure. Maybe you ought to get some sleep. No, no, I'm not quite ready yet. Thanks. For thinking of me and for taking old Finn out. Yeah, anytime. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, big boy. Come on. Stay in that room another minute. Give me a second, I'll be right out. I feel like I've got the shakes, and I, I know I'm tired, but I can't seem to rest. Look, tell me something. Is it is this what you said it was gonna be like? You're right on schedule. I made you a shake. Now if it's rich, it has lots of protein. No, I just don't think I can get it down. Come on, come on, try Jillian. Here, come sit over here and drink it. Come on. I'll try. There it go. Look, it's going to be three bad days, then we're going to start rebuilding our lives. We'll start a family the way we talked about. Go ahead, drink. No. Look, um, get me a piece of bread, all right? Maybe, maybe I could get it, get it down better. Sure, you bet. Seneca. Yeah? The, the pills, could they do something to my head? Uh, I see. Now, that is the kind of worry that comes along with a withdrawal. Jill, your mind is absolutely fine. I'll go get the bread. No, you, you don't understand. I, I say things that I don't remember saying. I don't remember saying that I would have another baby. Oh, God. Tom, I was just out walking the dog, and I saw your lights, so I figured it'd be all right to ring. Oh, I thought it must be Faith. No, no, just me. I came by to tell you guys that Jill's been found, and she's safe. Oh, thanks, Bob, but Roger called us a little while ago. Oh, well, in that no, case... No, no, come I'm on just... in. I, I've just been uh, sitting around waiting for Faith to come home. What, at this hour? I didn't know doctors made house calls anymore. I guess pediatricians are special, though, huh? Well, it's a house call, but it's not the sort you're thinking of. No? Yeah, well, there's a young lady from the home training for the blind program, and uh, she's been helping me. In fact, it's because of her that I'm so good at opening the front door and leading people into the house. I was kind of impressed the way you did that. Yeah, you'll be surprised that all I've learned, uh, I can take care of myself. I can get around the house without knocking any furniture over. In fact, I'm, I'm quite independent. Hmm. So it's all right you're being here all alone. Oh, yes, it? yes, absolutely. In fact, uh, uh, her name is Poppy. She's my teacher, and uh, but she's sick, unfortunately, so... We've asked her to stay here for a few days until she's well again, so Faith's gone to collect her and her things. Well, that's real nice of you guys to take her in like this. Oh, it's the least we could do. She's been a wonderful help to me, and she's been great help to Faith. I don't know why we're standing, Bob. Why, why don't you uh, sit down? <laughs> sit. Sit. 
Sit. Stay. Stay there. Uh, is that box in your way? No, no, that's fine. Now, if I'm patient and I don't lose my temper, I've discovered I can accomplish quite a lot. Uh, tonight, I was going through this box here for my passport. Frank needs it to uh, do the immigration business. Well, I don't want to compromise your independence, but you might want me to look through here for you. I don't think I'd be compromising my independence, but if you would just uh, put it on the table, yeah. I'm sure Faith will find it. Yep. That's a pretty girl. Who is it? Oh, there's a photograph here of a, of a girl with dark hair, a red sweater, I think. Green blanket around her? Yeah. She's lovely. She was. She died shortly after that mistake. She died? Yes, that was Teresa Donahue, the girl that I loved in Ireland. Donahue? Yes, that was the family that I had so much trouble with. They wanted her to marry a wealthy shopkeeper. I put an end to that. How did she die so young? Her brother James attacked me in an alley one night. When it was all over, he was dead. I was tried for manslaughter, and Terry tried to come to the trial, but they locked her in a room. She were acquitted. Yes, yes, but she got out the window uh, the night before the verdict came in. I think she was coming to see me, but somehow she, she lost her footing and fell three stories to the pavement below. It's terrible. She was lovely. And for years, I couldn't get her out of my mind. I suppose I still haven't to some extent. So... As time goes by, I've learned to accept the fact that she's gone. So young and pretty. The sad thing is that so much was left unfinished. So many things that were right and natural and and should have been done. No, you won't get the chance. Not only have you lost the one you love, but so many dreams as well. Well, I, I know you can do it, Tom, but I think I'm going to show myself out. Fine. I'll tell Faith that you called. Great, thank you. Hey, Bob, uh, mm. could you hand me that picture of Terry, please? Thanks. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Okay, boy. Here we go. Here we go. I don't care what my father says, Tom O'Brien, nor my brothers either. Now, I don't want to make any trouble for you. Isn't there any way that we can bring them round? Yes. <laughs> what if you were to wake up rich tomorrow morning with a rich father and a shop to inherit? <laughs> that would bring them round. Now, listen here to me. I'm going to be the Irish middleweight champion. Doesn't that mean anything? It's all money, Tom. They know there's no money in fighting. If there were money, my father would throw his arms around your shoulders and call you his brawny boy and invite you to stand him to a stout and marry his daughter. Now, you know that I would take care of you. I know you would. But then, you know, you can't be going off and marrying that shopkeeper. But I won't. Tom O'Brien, the only man I'll ever marry is yourself. I promise. Now, that's more like it, then. When will you let me come and see you fight? Will it be the next time? But it's so far away. That's off in Dublin. I don't care how far it is. I only want to see you. Now, your father would never allow it. What could he do? Lock me out of my room? He probably would. If he did that, I'd climb right out my window down the old tree outside and fly right to you. Now, you must be very careful the way you deal with your father. 
I'd fly from my window right into its branches and catch the mail train right to you. And they'd be right after you. They'd probably lock you up for keeps this time. You mustn't say that. I mustn't say what? That they could keep me from you. But now listen to me. I don't want to be making any trouble for you with your family. And I want to be with a man I love. You. You know, we should be together. And we will. Yes. They can't keep me away from you, Tommy. Locks on the doors won't hold me. I'll find my way to you when I want. You must remember that, love. I'll find my way to you. Tom, are you still awake? Is that you, Faith? It's me, and I brought a sick patient with me. I'm sorry if you stayed up waiting for me. Hello, Poppy. How are you feeling? Oh, I don't think I'm very well. She's got a fever and red throat and chills. In general, she's got a bad case of the flu. And I want to get her up to the guest room and put her to bed. Fine. It's so nice of you. I never expected anything like this. Well, you've been so wonderful to Tom. This is our way of paying you back. I just want you to know how grateful I am. Oh, Poppy, now you don't have to say that. Oh, yes, I do. I couldn't thank you enough if I thanked you a thousand times. And I want you to know I'm going to try to get better real soon and not be any bother. Oh, it'll be nice to have someone else in the house. Even though I have lots of confidence in Tom, I don't like to leave him alone. Oh, he can manage. See? Nevertheless. Poppy, we're glad you're here, and I hope you're better real soon. Thank you. And I won't be any trouble. I promise. like this. But you know how dependent your body was on that drug, huh? Oh. No. It's better now. Good, good. Can you eat some of this? Hmm? Yeah, I think so. Hey, listen, you want me to talk about good times, about some of the, some of the vacations we're going to be taking this summer? Yes. Oh, tell me we'll go someplace where the sun is, and it's been such a cold. Spring and, and winter. Oh, damn it. I'm going to get through this. Good girl. Good girl. I know that I can. I mean, I know it, but I, I, I just want you to tell me. How bad is it going to get? Honey, let's just take it a day at a time, okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now close your eyes. No. Uh-uh. I'll dream. I'll see Edmund. I just want to do this whole thing with my eyes open. Sure. Okay. It's easier now. Now, you said to me 36 hours, right? Look, Jillian, don't look ahead. <laughs> don't look back. Just get through the moment, huh? <laughs> It'll go very fast, and you won't even know it when. I just don't know if I can do this. No. Look, let's just get through today. Let's make that our goal. No! Look, you're stronger than you know. No, no, listen to me. I am telling you that I don't think I can do this. Jillian, I hear you. Now I want you to hear me. You can and you will. Because it is, it is the safest, it is the fastest, and it is the healthiest way to get rid of the poison in your body. No, no, I want you to take me to the hospital because there they're going to give me something. The hospital cannot do anything for you that I can't do here. Then you can give me something here. I can't. I would if I could. I can't. I know there must be something you can give me. There isn't, honey. I'm sorry. I just keep keep thinking if if I can't do it. I mean, what if I can't do this? You can. You can because you are strong enough to lick this thing. All right. Well, you keep telling me that. You bet I will. Anytime you need it. Mm. Thank you for being here with me. We're partners, remember? I just wish I could take some of that pain. Yeah. 
Well, so do I. <laughs> That's better. I can't believe three days of this, Seneca. I'll be with you the whole time. Yeah, but you'll go to sleep. Only when you sleep. No, but I, I know you'll go to sleep, and I'll, I'll be going for the worst part of it. Jillian, that is the anxiety talking, OK? Now, you're worried. That's natural. I won't sleep. I won't go away. I hate this. I hate this so much, doing this to you, to me, knowing that it's all my fault. We're going to come out of this closer than we were before. <laughs> Something good's got to come out of it, right? Hmm? Yes. I just wish that. Parties, boys, and drama, oh my. Catch up with the five sexy singles who are putting a new spin on Southern charm. Don't miss an all-new Southern Bells Louisville, Thursday at 10 on SoapNet.